it's chilly. We're heading down to Chesapeake Bay from Chesapeake City to Annapolis, which is the sailing capital of America, so we've been told. We're gonna anchor in the harbour and then check out the town. We have arrived in Annapolis. It's Halloween and our costume is being very smelly. <laughs> we haven't yet properly showered for a really long time. We're gonna do that now and laundry. Mm -hmm. We have kind of a egg inside an egg inside an egg, except it's three catamarans. And actually there's a fourth one tucked in behind there. So fun to be in a place that has so many cats. And we don't mean the furry kind. <laughs> Before we bought a boat, this would have been a really awesome place to come and see all the different types of cats. We also met our first uh, gem owners, other gem owners. We kind of snuck up on them. But luckily they were on the boat. <laughs> yeah, they invited us on their boat. So we're in Bat Creek in Annapolis. So many boats, so many sailing yachts. It's very refreshing, especially after being on the Erie where there's a lot of motor yachts. One from Bundenberg of Australia. Yano, that's for you. We explored Back Creek looking for a dinghy dock so we could provision at the local marine stores. After successfully picking up our supplies, we headed back to downtown Annapolis to explore. The Harbour Master offered showers and laundry services, accessible with tokens. <laughs> so we went a little crazy. We're in Annapolis. We decided to do this all you can eat is seafood <laughs> and rather other food. And we skipped, we skipped, uh, skipped lunch today, so we're we're prepped. Good. Yeah, we're not going to eat out again for a little while. <laughs> so we went through some rough weather uh, when we went from Atlantic City to Cape May. If you look at our jib, there's some patches coming off, so we need to repair that at our next stop. Right now it's light wind, so we're not too great. We had received some recommendations by viewers on where to go while we were in the Chesapeake, and we decided St. Michael's would be one of the spots. Greg's on the search for propane. I hope that's a It's obviously the best method of us to do this. We're at an unloading, loading and unloading place any only. So I can't go, I'm just staying here with the dinghy. And ironically, there's a propane truck right where the dinghy is. I got here, but I don't think it's meant for refilling our little tank. So? Our propane adventure has a happy ending. Yay! I'm not sure how much is in here. We're in St. Michael's and we're walking along a trail called a crab walk. So we're walking like this. That's exactly what's going on. St. Michael's is a beautiful little town. Their motto, historic charm, nautical adventure, romantic spaces, was the perfect way to spend our day. While exploring St. Michael's, we happened across a winery and ended up a little day tipsy. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're just cruising around the bay. Yeah, we can't see anything. Making new friends. It's quite bright. First Gemini we've met on the way. I'm sure there'll be more. Here she is. Hey! <laughs> we uh, got into this anchorage yesterday and we were the only ones and then by the time we went to bed we had company. One person docked really close to us, or anchored really close to us, so we were a little less than impressed. Jazzy, getting her supply of fresh water. She's gotten really comfortable being on top of the bimini. It's not comfortable for us. So it's kind of hard to see, but um, our out hall is quite, let's see if I can loosen this for you, is quite freight. So I'm going to try and replace it today, um, just before we get into some heavier sailing. And hopefully it works. I put a few stitches to hold the ropes together. I'm also going to tape it a little bit. Um, I got the specs off the manual, but it looks like our new out haul is a little bit thinner than our old out haul, so hopefully it works. And then just for reinforcement, I have duct taped over the stitches. Uh, I want this to go through in one go. So, here we go. New out haul. <laughs> that was a little scary because it wasn't coming out. Diana's fixing things. <laughs> hey. So there's our old out hole. You can tell it got pretty chewed up. So I'm glad we fixed it. Hopefully our new one does as well. We're leaving the kitties outside for the first time. Diana's a little worried. I don't want them to fall off when we're not here. So we have this little cohort of sailing boats around us. Whoops. There we go. Um, some behind, some in front of us. Let's see if we can find any. We are motor sailing at the moment. Uh, it's the first day in a while the winds have been in our favor, so we're going to try and go as south as we possibly can. Sailing downwind at a beam reach or a broad reach is what Cat's Way does best, and we quickly left our cohort behind and managed to do 62 nautical miles, even though we were against the current. The next day wasn't windy at all, and our sailing friends caught up. We're in Norfolk, Virginia, that has one of the largest naval bases in the world. So right now we're passing by several aircraft carriers. There's a free dock. Craig's like gunned up the engine as fast as it will go because we're trying to beat all the other cruisers behind us. <laughs> I think we're doing a pretty good job. Uh -oh. We think our friends in front are getting in trouble for being too close to the Navy ships.
What just happened? Uh, so, the, the friendly Navy police told our friends in the Vendero that they need to stay in the channel. What is it? We're at the beer garden. Eating sour bread. Celebrating our four year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Neither of us are vegetarians. <laughs> Norfolk had some pretty intense tides, so much so that the dock that we were tied to up to was swamped. So we're waiting for the Gilmerton lift bridge. We're amongst three Canadian boats that are circling like sharks, <laughs> waiting for the lift bridge to open. All right, lift bridge is up. We're all converging on the entrance. <laughs> We were headed to the Dismal Swamp, and our friends on Bandera let us raft up to them while we were waiting for the lock to open. The Dismal Swamp lock slowly lifted cats away back into fresh water. Going through Deep Creek Bridge in Dismal Swamp. We're trying to avoid all this duckweed. So. We're keeping our starboard hull where Bandera has kindly cleared the duckweed for us. Our water intake for our engine is on the inside of our starboard hull. The color of this water is like coffee. It is so dark. I guess there's a reason it's called Dismal Swamp. And there's the duckweed on either side of us. Slave labor was used to build the Dismal Swamp Canal. However, the swamp provided safe haven for several African-American maroon societies, consisting of refugee slaves who had escaped to seek safety and liberty. crossing into North Carolina on the Dismal Swamp. So we've been trying to be really careful about not getting duckweed into our intake, but it seems like we have. Our temperature is creeping up and I noticed a lot of exhaust coming out of the exhaust pipe. Uh, so we've slowed down a lot. Greg's going to try and clear the strainer and we'll see if that helps. This is sitting at 180. It's usually at 170. It did go above 180 creeping to 200, but now we're just literally in gear and that's it. Okay, so, um, we just got a quick lesson on how to uh, empty our... Strainer? Strainer. For our water intake? Thank you, Michael. So Greg just turned off the seacock so we don't get flooded, basically. Okay. We had some help. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You can see duckweed. Oh, this is just this is dense. <laughs> just turn. It should pull right up. Yeah. Just kind of wiggle it a bit. Oh, it's, it's a vacuum on it, right? <clears throat> okay, so this is what's in there. <laughs> this this shouldn't be in there. <laughs> you want Here, you can give it to me. In? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. All right. That is cool. Wow. Okay, so this is what our strainer is filled with. Uh, you can 
almost not see the strainer anymore because it's so filled with this stuff. It's duckweed. It's no joke. So I'll clear this out, put it back in, hopefully the temp is back to normal. Because of the delay, we ended up rafting up at the Dismal Swamp Welcome Center, next to a nice couple on a catamaran called Alberta Crude. Hecky's first boat cat friend. Right. They're not really getting on well. <laughs> Come here, I got you, big boy. All right. You guys have so much in common. You both live on cats. You're safe in the cabin, okay? You stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the, at the Dismal Swamp Welcome Center. And everyone there is very, very lovely. They gave us a whole heap of reading material, so we have some homework to do for the rest of our trip. And they apologized profusely about the duckweed. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, I actually kind of liked it. It was a good learning experience for us. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, explore. The delay also gave us the opportunity to meet one of our viewers who was considering buying a catamaran. We're anchored up, waiting for the uh, that bridge to lift so that we can continue on the lock. The locks in the canal were nice, very clean, we didn't need gloves, but they were super slow. It took us less time to get through the Waterford flight of five than it took us to get through one lock on the Dismal Canal. And I've been thinking We stopped in Elizabeth City for the night, and it was our first time docking in pylons. We were expecting some good wind the next day, so we took this opportunity to mend our sails. We've been sewing forever, but we're coming along slowly. Hasn't been that long. It seems like it's forever. After toiling in the park for what seemed like forever, a really friendly local gentleman turned up with a sewing machine and offered to give us a hand. We knew that Elizabeth City was renowned for welcoming cruisers, but we weren't expecting this level of generosity and hospitality. They even went as far as to throw a cheese and wine do for the visiting cruisers. <laughs> 